they want us to talk on hustle, obviously, um, and, and the work. And then they want to talk about building out a business like this while you still have a regular job or career. Because they say a lot of people just jump ship without having um, a backup plan, which I think in some cases is good, some cases is bad, depending on who you are. So like, like I want to talk about how it was literally... They want, they want you to touch on how you were bartending. In the bathroom, people. bartending. Yeah. What the hell's going on over here? Look. I don't know. Just go on, who cares? Um, anyways, uh, then they want us to, a lot of it's gonna be Q&A, which is fine, we do that fine. Um, they wanna know behind the scenes, so they wanna know how we time block, um, how we handle brainstorming. Let's talk about how we do um, the whiteboard. Let's sure. like really get in depth about it, Michael. It's like, that's the macro, but I, we, we could go into granular too. I think it's important. Don't um, mumble. I won't. Um, how we structure our day, fun versus work. Okay, so how do what do we do for fun? Because all we do is work. So, so we don't. Okay. We don't have any fun. Um, no, Michael, what are we going to really talk about there? I mean, I have fun doing work, so... Do you want me to talk first, or do you want to talk first, or do you just want to kind of do a dance with it? Dance? I think prob probably I'll always let you go first. Obviously, ladies first. But, um, ladies first, because you're nervous. And No, okay. unless... Some, I'm not nervous at all. Unless something's directed at me specifically, then I'll go first. So, um, like, you're never going to go first. How we got started. <laughs> How we market our businesses. Um, how we paint our nails in the car. No. I think one thing I want to touch on is talking about how it's important to st people. People have a tendency to try to go where everyone is, but I think it's important to try to go where you anticipate people are going, as opposed to going where everyone is. That's why I think so many people are struggling with blogging and creating content because they're trying to do what everyone else is doing and go to a space that everybody else already is. Do my nails look bad? <laughs> she won't. Do my nails look bad? No, they look good. Wow, they actually look better than I thought they would have. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like creeping everybody out. Why would I call on stage to show my penis? Because <laughs> 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 maybe you would. I... Magic Mike. <laughs> How's my clavicle? It's very shiny, very protruding. Thank you. <laughs> I love a good clavicle moment. Oil sinking. Just another day. She got me loving in the morning. Got me singing in the pouring rain. I just think it's really important to do your own thing. And if you have an idea, you need to stick to your guns and not let other people, you know, dictate what direction you're going in. And that's kind of, I think, why we're here. And we're going to get into that and like doing your own thing. Um, but just to wrap it up, I launched the vlog in 2010 after a year of putting everything together and now eight years later we're here, we're talking to you guys, we're so excited to be here. I feel like I talked your ear off so I'll let Michael say a few things. Never stops talking. <laughs> <laughs> and as Lauren built her brand and we got a platform, we had so many questions coming in on an individual level to the, to the Snap channel, to the Instagram, and we couldn't figure out, okay, how are we going to answer all these questions at scale and keep up? And, and be able to, to answer everybody. So we're, we're down in Cabo, like we like to do, drinking margaritas, like we also like to do. And uh, I said, hey, let's do a podcast. Uh, we both really enjoy the media. So don't take credit for everything. <laughs> you can give me a little credit here. After I'm, after I'm done. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so we, we launched it out of our house on a whim. And um, over the last two years, we've developed it. We're about to hit our 100th episode next, or this Tuesday, which we're excited about. Love, love, love that 100th episode. Okay. <laughs> I heard about it a lot lately. Yeah. Well, if, you, if, you, if, if any of you, I don't know if any of you listen to it or not, but um, if you go back and look at the old episodes, it was a real trial by error thing. I mean, there was a lot of fights, a lot of arguments, but um, we, we refined it, we're still refining it. And since then, um, launched other consumer brands and most recently launched a podcast network with my partner, Digital Brand Architects, called Dear Media. And that network is primarily focused on female audiences with female hosts to really um, kind of do for other females what we've done for our show. And so we're excited to launch that and um, just announce it this week. So. That's, that's kind of my background. I just want to talk about the hustle a little bit. I know there's probably a lot of you guys out there that are bloggers or business owners, and it's super overwhelming, I would assume, to come into the space on the internet right now and have to start from scratch. 
but it can be done and it's not oversaturated anyone that tells you that that's not true you just have to find your niche and really stand out and really ride it and be persistent and consistent and i'm sure you've heard a lot of speakers today tell you that but really what I think the Skinny Confidential, like any success it's had yet, has been from being consistent seven days a week, every single day for the last eight years. Um, and I think that, that you know people don't see the behind the scenes. I didn't make a dollar for two and a half years when I started it, not one. And I think that I went into the blog with the intention to bring value and create a community which is what the story I told you about the sorority. That was my intention, was to create an online community that we were sharing tips and tricks as opposed to not sharing. Like if I, someone asked me where I got my shirt, I would actually tell them instead of being like, this old thing, um, I, you know, I don't remember. But uh, the Skinny Confidential was like totally that and that was the foundation and that's what I led with. And I think that it's really, really, really important when you're starting a business or a blog or a brand to have an intention. And it's not a fake intention, it's a real intention. I think that, that audiences now want the influencer to take a stance. I think 2018 is all about the stance. I think that the, the influencer that's showing her bright white kitchen and you know her skirt, it's just like not enough depth. I think the audience wants more now. They wanna know what you stand for. They wanna know what you're about. And more than that, I think they wanna know that it's bigger than just you. I mean, how many times can I post what I ate, what I wore, what I'm doing? It has to be, like for me, like as an influencer, it has to be more. I need depth, I want other women to meet each other because they, maybe they met in the Skinny Confidential group. I want. I, I just want more layers, and I think what's gonna happen that the people that come in with a niche that provide those layers are the people that are gonna stand out next. I feel like you wanna hop in. No, I think to touch on <laughs> His energy is like <laughs> Is there any seats open out there? I'm just gonna... Um, no, I think touching on what you're saying, I think in any business, whether you're creating content, podcasts, you're gonna do a blog, you're gonna build a brand, biz, product-based business, I think it's important to not position yourself or your product as the hero in that story. I see a lot of people making a mistake where they either come out the blog or they come out the product and they position themselves or that product as the hero in their, in their customer story. In anything, the reader, the listener, the customer is always the hero, right? The content that you provide, the products you provide, is like a teacher that's going to help them solve a problem that they have or an issue that they have. So when you're thinking about branding yourself or creating a product or a company, whatever it is, stop, take yourself out of the hero position and put yourself in the guide position. Put yourself in a position where you can help other people solve problems for themselves. If you, if you do it with that intention, you'll, you'll find success. If you do it the other way, I think you're going to struggle a little bit. And I think I've seen that time and time again with the businesses that I've worked with, businesses I've created for myself, and you know, using Lauren as an example, her intention, and I, and I can attest to this, really was to connect women and, and build community. And I think because of that, she's, she's had a successful brand. While you're taking the stance, I would really make sure to pay attention to the people that are reading your blog as opposed to getting more followers. So two questions I get asked all the time are, how do you get more followers and how do you make money? And I cannot tell you how many people ask me that question. I would throw those two questions in the trash for two years if you're like get starting in this industry. Those two questions wouldn't even leave my mouth. If I started out today, I would concentrate on the followers that I have, and if that was 100 or five, I would concentrate on them. When you do that, the followers that you have become soldiers, and they go out and they spread the word for you. So what happens is they essentially become like your PR agents. So what I've always done is I've focused on who I have in front of me and who is supportive of my platform, and from there, they've gone and been the word of mouth. That's worked really, really well. So again, don't focus on followers, don't focus on money, because 99% of bloggers that ask me those two questions, I mean, I would look at the 1% that's not asking that question. You know, if everyone's going right, you wanna go left. But back to trends. Trends, I think, is definitely audio. Um, Michael's speaking on time, like he said, and audio is something that you can do wherever you are. You can do it while you're doing your makeup, you can do it while you're cooking. Um, that's definitely something to pay attention to. All the home apps coming out, Alexa. Alexa, we have a, we have an Alexa skill, right? 
Can you set us up on one? We do have an Alexa skill now. Well, what do you what do you do? You just type in the skinny confidential. You mean you say the skinny confidential? Yeah. 